We're having a day off today, it's Saturday, and we're coming to Threkel Quarry and Mining Museum. Look at a few of these machines. So, uh, here's a bit of footage of that. I hope you enjoy it. And if you do enjoy it, don't forget to like and subscribe. Absolutely stunning scenery around here today. I'm not sure, but everything I seem to enjoy is either heavy, dirty, or dangerous. So, we're having a day off from the Spanish today. Come all the way up to the lakes. And I've been here once before, and today we thought we'd come and have a look at the uh, working weekend. A few of these drag liners and facing shovels all working. So here's some footage of that. And I hope you enjoy watching as much as I did. I got sunburned because I was stood there for that long watching them. You know that's how you raise the right one? Yeah. Oh. One of them, I think you did a one. Oh, I do. Got a big face in shovel here working. Loads of machine here, machines here today. Uh, lots of rust and abuse irises and NCK rapiers. Good old English firms that are sadly that are sadly no more. You've got to be quite a skilled operator to drive one of these things because you use your feet on the pedals and then you've got levers that you're all working at the same time. I think it's done off brakes and uh, clutches. There's no hydraulics on these machines. Everything's all band brakes and clutches. So you've got to disengage one as you're slightly engaging the other. It's a proper skill to drive one of these things now. and It's a skill that's being lost. I love trying to drive one of these. Uh, if anyone's got one and they... And they won't mind letting me have a go at having a having a drive one. Then uh, let us know in the comments below, and we'll get in touch with you. And in butty time now, the lovely ladies at the uh, snacks on track sorting us out with the bacon butties. I think this is an Oliver bulldozer. Two things: there is stuff everywhere. Here. Every corner you turn, there's something in the nettles. It's a proper, proper, a really good place, this. Stuff everywhere, and it's really interesting. Cranes, drag liners, all you can see is jibs in the air. I've never been somewhere there's so much stuff. Definitely recommend it. Here's a zoom into uh, one that I think they're waiting to restore on the inside of it. We've got pedals and levers and everything's mechanical. There's no ad blue, there's no electronics on them and that's why they're still working after all these years. There's not, everything's fixable on them and everything you can make all the pieces. You're not waiting for parts to arrive from overseas. And these things will last forever. Bit of a bucket repair going on here. And they're just adjusting the trap door at the back. RB38, moving some soil here. You've got to have really good coordination to drive one of these things and they'll, they'll move a lot of dirt quite fast when you've got the right driver on them. So they're not, they're not slow by any means. But these men driving these today make it look easy, but it's, it's not easy to drive one of these things. They make it look effortless. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you've liked this video. The video doesn't really do these machine these machines justice. They're amazing to watch in real life. I definitely recommend going to Threkel Aquarium Mining Museum if you get the chance. Really, really good day out. Definitely worth the money. Here's a drag lining bucket on the floor. We've got pulleys and chains and cables attached to it. They still use drag liners on like rivers and things because you can you can like throw the bucket out quite far. You don't have to have a great big hydraulic jib. Um, so they, they still do use them when you don't see them very often nowadays.
it's hard to get a, the scale of the size of these things, but these things are massive. Yeah, they're iron giants. Well, the, the camera doesn't do it justice. I've got a slow-mo picture now, well video. They're bit scooping up and you can... Uh, watching the driver's coordination as he's lifting up, he's now pulling it in at the same time and then he's slowing round also at the same time. A lot of skill. Big com run out or something like that. Got the Oliver Bulldozer back out. I'm gonna see if he'll uh, do a bit of pushing with it. I'm guessing this is American. Well, you're very tired, you wanna think it's been restored recently. Got plenty of power. Tracks are slipping there, you could do with something. It's not the right tracks on that. I think you should have tracks with grouses on it. They look like they're off a drought or something like that. And it runs really sweet there. It sounds really, really nice. My girlfriend brought me here a couple of years ago because uh, she's quite keen on the classic plan job. Got a smaller drag liner here working. You can see how far it can throw the bucket for the actual size of the machine. The machine's quite small, but the reach it's got is, is massive, to be fair. So that's why they're really good over like rivers and stuff, and you can throw the bucket out. And you don't need a great big clumsy machine to do the job. Again, this drive is making it look easy to drive one of these things. Brace Norton. RB19 just warming up, ready for a bit of work now. You can, if you look at this one, you can see where the modern 360 excavators come from. So the idea has not really changed that much in all them years. Apart from now, it's hydraulics. But you can definitely see what they've evolved to today with the modern ones. Another close-up of the inside of one. No guards on anything. Maybe your fingers trapped. Look at that seat there, it looks like it's a penny farthing. You'd know if you'd done a day's work in one of these things where with these modern machines, you, you don't really, really do it now. At the end of the day, you don't feel like you've done much if you sat in one of them, but one of these old ones, i tell you what, you'd know if you drove one of these all day. Got a Caterpillar. Uh, I think they call this a track excavator, like a loading shovel on tracks, just shoving some material too so that facing shovel can pick it up. Facing shovel are good, pulling off a pile, but they're not, they're not designed for digging, so you've got to keep feeding it with, with material. That caterpillar, that sounds really nice as well. When it's under a bit of load, it's, it sounds nice, that. No smoke coming out of that exhaust. Really, really clean. Now I've got the biggest drag liner. 
Again, the camera don't do it justice. It's an absolute monster that bucket, and that can really that can really move some dirt that quick. It's a bit of a dying out, I have to drive these things now. He's just waiting for that caterpillar to get out of the way and then he can tip his bucket full. Thanks for watching.